welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're here at Jeff's Garage, yeah. and we're going to be doing a little bit of stuff on his personal vehicle. Fantastic. So, so this is the uh, this is the wife's car. All right. Okay. 2008 Honda Pilot. Um, it's got 197 on the chassis, but wow. I just threw a JDM motor in here I got from Cali. It's got 30,000 miles on it. Huh. Um, so we're going to treat it right. Now... My concern is, we've had this vehicle, I put the 5,000 miles since I've installed the motor, uh, running a, a different color full synthetic, okay? I've also had two quarts of burn off in that 5,000 miles. Oh my God! That's a little concerning. So I want to use the engine and transmission flush because uh, what's going to happen is this flush is going to clean up my rings, uh, my engine is going to seal better, it's going to help my uh, valve stem seals, everything, but mainly I'm looking to stop the oil burn off huh. because that's killing me that's expensive and that's dangerous i just paid a bunch of money for the motor put it in here it was a lot of work i'm not trying to do that shit again so Man, let's that's start terrible this. this when i did uh the honda on my previous honda it burned off 0.4 quart in 10,000 miles that's awesome so this sounds like a little like uh thin ice well we're gonna we're gonna do a follow-up video on this in 2500 miles because the court, the burn off, I think happened at 2000, but I'm gonna have a little bit extra faith in uh, AMS oil. Wow. And we're gonna, we'll do a follow up and see what our oil quantity is. We're also gonna be using a fully synthetic filter from AMS oil. What did you say, nine microns? Yes, uh, nine 20 micron. microns, 20 micron, 20. 15,000 mile interval. Boom. And there it is, yeah. And we are also gonna use a signature series because I'm looking forward to going uh, 15,000 miles on this oil. Yep, that's what she is. So uh, let's kick it off. Let's get this party started. All right, Jeff. Now what are we doing? Well, we're gonna. We're, this is a signature proprietary Eben pour. I have to give Eben credit because you start here, right? And you just come up. Oh my! And you give it that range. Eben taught me personally how to get range on a pour. I couldn't believe it. Reference the Mercedes video we had. What was that? A six foot pour? Yeah. Boom. I'm not. I'm not like Eben. I got a foot. Let's Beautiful do this. execution, Jeff. Beautiful. Start this bad boy up. All right. 15 we got 15 minutes. minutes and counting. All right. If you're new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. You can tap the little red icon in the corner. That way, you can come back and watch this important information for your vehicle later. And this is what she sounds like before. All right, Jeff, tell them, tell them about the PI Performance Improver. Well, this is one product that I've already used myself and thoroughly convinced myself that it's awesome. Uh, my Civic, I got 50 extra miles out of a tank, so a vehicle that already gets good, I get about, I had about 350. I got 400 to the tank I added PI. Now, obviously, you get more mileage the tank that you add this to, but subsequently, I've kept better gas mileage. So let's That's do awesome. it. Let's what do it here say? too. What did you average better after you went through? Uh, after I, I was still about 30 miles above what I was before. So that's about what average? A mile and a half a gallon better? Two yeah. miles? I'm gonna say a mile and a half a gallon. All right. Which so freaking awesome! I mean, it already gets like 32. Beautiful. So, uh, that's beautiful. Let's uh, let's get this PI in here. That's it. Now this is something anybody can do. Yeah. And if you want to come get it by the bottle, come let us know. I can I can sell it to you by the bottle. Um, if you want to become a distributor, talk to Eben or myself, and that uh, we can do that as well. Then you can buy it by the case. Then you can hook up your friends, people helping people. It's so, that easy. We're, I mean, we're about to drop the oil. I did want to show you guys one more thing. This is a tool uh, they use in the lube industry. It's called a dog bone. Okay. Dog bone, this thing has uh, four different sizes on each one. It's uh, 15, 17, 19, 18, and then the smaller sizes, 10, 12, 13, 14. And uh, basically, you get down here, you can be a one-man wrecking crew with one tool, change oil on almost any car. So I'm going to show you how the dog bone works, same as any other wrench. I'm going to put it on here, and I recommend an easy way to do it, tap your hand. Done. Beautiful. It's loose. Now the rest of this we do with our fingers. Ready? Boom. One, two, and three. Beautiful there technique, it is coming Jeff. out. Nice. Look. Look. Ha. Ah. You're a is. master, Jeff. A master. Oh, yeah, that's coming out. Be 
can't see any light through it at all. None. Okay, if you look real closely here, um, you see how one of these drain plugs is kind of shiny and the other one's dull. Hondas and Nissans and other vehicles that have the aluminum or copper drain plug gaskets, you need to replace the drain plug gasket every oil change or you will get leaks. So, or you'll end up stripping out the pan because it doesn't crush as well. So, well, it looks like we're at the end of our drips. Throw our plug in real quick. Should always, always go in smooth. Um, till you reach super pro status, you want to preferably use a torque wrench on these, but you don't have to. Um, so I just kind of, I feel the metal. There we go. We got a good little turn there. And right there, I'm happy. Beautiful. Perfect. Done and done. Spin this filter off real quick. I like using a band wrench. Um, I feel like they just grip really well. And it makes it easy. So the filter's right here. Take it. You put the band wrench on. And it was just literally a quick turn. We're going to take it over here. We're going to get this down. And we'll get our little leakage. Let it spit out. Okay, put our rag, finish spinning that filter off. Okay, there's the mighty oil filter we're taking off. Um, Amzo oil filter is clearly larger, so we definitely have more filter media inside of there. We'll take our Amzo here. Signature Motor Series 5W20. All right, just put a little little prime inside of there, just till it comes to the top of the threads. Beautiful. That's all I need. And this is a, another pro tip. I always take the rag and wipe off the mating surface. Uh, two reasons for that. First reason, I don't want any gunk or junk on there. Second reason is. If you've ever put on an oil filter and the gasket has stuck to there, it's hold a, on, Jeff. Hold on. Oh, let me let me let me uh, oil up the rubbers. Yeah, let me oh, get in there. Yeah. Make sure it's nice yeah, and there we go. Give me some. Oh yeah, Perfect. there it is. Ooh, right. One swipe by me. I both want to. All right, it. you're a good man, right. Jeff. So we cleaned off the surface. We lubricated the uh, the gasket, and we're gonna just spin this bad boy on there. Super easy. And when it gets when it gets snug. Just do a quarter turn. That's it. Don't yank it down. You just want it snug. Cool. Beautiful. Let's do this. Yep. Woo. In the words of my friend Eben. Beautiful. Let's feel her up. Awesome. I love it, Jeff. Good slap for you. Is that good enough slap? I love it. It's definitely one that uh, you can feel the thud. It's good. Ah. I like to slap things so hard that we both hurt. I like it. I like it. I have a joke I tell people. Say it. Know. Tell them. The joke what? what I'd look joke? at them. If, if this required me to convince somebody or a certain level of commitment, I'd pull my knife out. I've always had a knife in my pocket. I'd put it to my palm and i tell them, I'm going to cut my hand open and slap you with it so we're both in pain. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a little sick, but you know, hey. Hey. When you got to prove a point, sometimes you have to go extreme. Oh, Ghostbuster said never cross screens. What are you doing? What are you doing, Eva? Do it. All right. All mini. Almost there. One last quart. One last quart. Boom. All right. Here it is for all the marbles. Let's do it, Jeff. Oh. We're in it to win it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, no Jeff. No, it, Jeff. No, it's Jeff's Jeff. got range. Jeff's Beautiful. got range. Oh. Do the best, there Jeff. Hang in there. Boom. He Shoot. does it in his sleep now. That's right. Okay. Starting. Right. We're going for a little trounce around the block. Let's do this. I uh, I gotta say the uh, idle already feels better. All right. And uh, I know because I drive the shit out of this car. I've been on plenty of road trips and out to Arizona to California. Um, remarkable difference right now. Wow. Remarkable. Wow. So let's. Uh, so this is a real family vehicle for you. Uh -huh. oh let's hit our VTEC. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that VTEC sound. Wow, that's a dream. God, it's so smooth. All right. Man. That's amazing.
amazing. And uh, we're gonna turn on the AC because I gotta have AC. So it's what is it, 94 today, Jeff? Uh, Survey says 93. All right. Very close. All right. I always try to get her. And there's beautiful Las Vegas, yeah. North Las Vegas sign. So you know where we're at. Let's uh, let's get in it. All right, we're in it. Hear that VTEC popping? I love that sound. There's no pinging up top. No, absolutely none. Oof. Okay, that's Let back. Beautiful. Let me back down a little bit. We just hit a. Oh my God. I'm beautiful. not allowed. Am I allowed to say how fast we went on Boulder Highway? Uh, it's uh, unknown. We it's, don't know. It's how unknown. I, I couldn't even see the the gauge move so fast. <laughs> yep. Jeff is a um, what we like to refer to as a prodigy in the race world. Uh, Jeff <laughs> acts on intuitions and basically just does what he does. He, did, he if you asked him how to explain it, probably couldn't even explain uh, it. Just, he just does it. It's in the seat of my pants. You'd have to see inside my pants to understand. <laughs> I like it. This is what it looks like today. It's beautiful out. It's Boulder Highway headed all the way down to Boulder City. If you just keep going all the way down that highway, follow it, it down. Punches right through those mountains. Yep. Just pops right through the valleys and peaks. So this is what it looks like in Vegas on a usual uh, kind of almost summer day. We're yeah. getting there. It's coming. We're close. I mean, 93 is uh, 93 is spring. Yep. So. Yep, and you know it doesn't stay that hot that long in the mornings. It's only 80 degrees in the morning. You know what? I've I've been in Florida when it was 90 and 100 percent humidity, and it's miserable. I'll take 114. All right, we just got the tree. I'm racing everybody around me. All right. Only reason I'm going to win is because they don't know we're racing. Ha! It's my competitive advantage right there. It is. All Jeff's right. a schmod racer. That's right. Don't don't let your whole cars out until you have to. Yep. 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 We're gonna let that guy with the lights go ahead and go. No, oh, all, right. all right then. See, Jeff has tremendous intuition. See, Jeff knows to back off, throttle off, really take a look at your surroundings. And this is stuff that we need a lot of people in the community to start to do when they're driving. Yeah. And uh, be it may, we may end up doing our own comprehensive driving school, Jeff and I. Oh yeah. We could easily uh, do that for the community and we'd save lives and kids and save gas breaks. Get them, get them on the skid pad to learn how to uh, yep. correct a uh, fishtail. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. And then you sometimes you have a little bit of uneasiness on the roads. But yep. what you want to do is you want to encourage the fellow driver to just be happy out there, you know? I mean, I look at it like this. I do a lot of driving. I know Eben does a lot of driving. The difference in arriving at a location between 65 and 75 miles an hour is the cost of a speeding ticket. You are not going to save any more than a minute or two on a 20 to 40 mile ride. It's so not worth it because that's a 10 mile an hour over. Now you got a ticket. Now you got minimum 250, right? Yeah, you got that. And the other thing is, too, you're spending a lot more gas money. You have to realize oh gosh, a brick yes. like this, yeah. these are terrible at high speed. Now, Honda product is one of the best products you can buy. And I've driven them, raced them, sold them. I've done it all with Honda. And I have to contest it's about the best you're going to get for an economy vehicle. Yeah. But the one thing is, when you go fast with a Honda, they're geared really short for good acceleration. Yeah. And once you get up into your 80s, 90s, 100s, 110, you're going to use a lot of gas. And if you look, I mean, the, the cars in the 80s, one of the reasons for the 55 being orange on your uh, cluster in 95 and older is because that was the national speed limit. And the EPA decided that cars get the best fuel economy at 55 miles an hour, which they still do. They've been geared to go up to about comfortable 70 is their prime. And if you just look at your uh, tachometer, because everybody's car is different, anywhere between 22 to 2800 RPMs is the optimal fuel economy. If you can hold it at 2,500 RPMs, you're going to get the absolute best gas mileage possible. That's why I like cruise control, because it can do that for me. And you don't have to worry about going that fast, because you have to realize when you put these lubricants in your vehicle, it's going to get very slippery. Yeah. And uh, those tickets become too easy. 
Oh man, absolutely. Like I said, this is getting quieter and smoother as we drive. Like we are just, we're handling it. Power's there. I, I can't wait for Beautiful. the wheel burn off to go away. That's like, that's my most excited point here. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna come in, come in hot. All right. Run over anything in our way, including that box right there. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's pop out and listen to that engine one more time. Do you enjoy this video? If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel. Also, if you're new to the channel, you can tap the little red icon in the corner and then you'll be able to come back and watch these videos later. This is the finished product. It's so comfortable. I'm telling you, we did the engine oil flush. We did the Signature Series 520. We did the performance improver in the fuel tank. We just took it on a test drive and showed that this thing is quieter, more powerful, and like I said. All right, we will see you back next time on synthetic oil protection. I'm going to put a couple of playlists right here in the corner, and uh, you can definitely check that out. We're going to do more stuff on this little angel, and we'll be definitely following back up. Tell, and Tell them about Thursday. And Thursday, we also have to mention Thursday, we're doing our first live video, Jeff and I, right here at the garage. It's going to be 6 p.m., and that's Vegas time, West Coast time. It's going to be about an hour. We're going to have a really cool guest, a mystery guest. And we're going to be, uh, well, talking about the giveaway, Eben's, oh. Eben's giveaway. It, as far as I understand, it's $150 worth of giveaway this time. It is $150 Holy worth. Holy cow. Yep. We're that's stepping awesome. it up. Yep. So. We will see you back.